Bonjour, I'm Jennifer, your French teacher in the south of France, and this is a lesson on the French relative pronouns ce qui, ce que, and ce dont. Ce qui, ce que, and ce dont are like the relative pronouns qui, que, and dont, meaning they introduce dependent clauses. So a dependent clause is one that has a subject and a verb, but it needs to be connected to a main clause to form a complete sentence. Relative pronouns are the words that connect a dependent clause to a main clause. In this example, I'd like to just show you the purpose that relative pronouns serve both in French and in English. Je ne sais pas, relative pronoun, tu veux faire. It's like in English, we need a relative pronoun to connect I don't know, and what you want to do. Imagine how it would sound if I said, I don't know you want to do. We're missing something, right? The relative pronouns can be translated either to what or that. So in this sentence, we would say, I don't know what you want to do. I'll show you which relative pronoun you would need to complete that sentence in French in just a minute. Now might be a good time for you to look down at the links in the video description below. You can visit my website for lesson notes about relative pronouns and to practice ce qui, ce que, and ce dont with some Quizlet study sets that I've made for you. The difference between ce qui, ce que, and ce dont, and qui, que, and dont, is that these don't refer to a specific noun that's already been mentioned. They refer to something less specific, like an idea or a statement. That idea may or may not already have been stated. Let's have a look at some examples and then we can take a quiz together. Now, if you're not sure how to use qui, que, and don't in the first place, also, if you go to my website and look at this lesson, I have a link there to a lesson that I made on those. Okay, so let's look at this sentence. Je te dis, relative pronoun, est vrai. I'm telling you is true. Well, we need the relative pronoun ce qui here, which would mean what in English. I'm telling you what is true. Je te dis ce qui est vrai. So why is ce qui the correct answer here? Because ce qui is used as the subject of the dependent clause. Okay, I'm telling you what is true. What becomes my subject? Now let's have a look at ce que, and we're going to use ce que as the direct object of the dependent clause. Je ne sais pas ce que tu veux faire. Je ne sais pas ce que tu veux faire. I don't know what you want to do. Now remember that a direct object answers the questions who or what. In this case, it answers the question what. Now here we have an example with ce dont, and we're going to use ce dont as the object of the preposition de. Now don't worry, we're going to get a lot of examples in using ce dont, but here's how it works. Je sais ce dont tu as besoin. Je sais ce dont tu as besoin. Let's look at it a little closer. If we're saying that ce dont is used as the object of the preposition de, here's what it looks like when you are not using a relative pronoun. You, tu as besoin de quelque chose. That de that you have in that sentence is key to knowing whether you need to use ce dont instead of ce que, for example. So it is helpful to know which expressions and verbs are followed by that little word de. Tu as besoin de quelque chose. You need something, but if we literally translate that, you have need of something, right? So I could answer that, or I could say that sentence in French like this. Je sais ce dont tu as besoin. And the way we could literally translate that is in English is, I know that of which you have need. 
Now, I know we wouldn't say it like that, but sometimes it really helps to break it down and look at the grammar quite literally. Here's another example using ce que. Remember, ce que is the direct object as the of the dependent clause. Je ne comprends pas ce que tu dis. Je ne comprends pas ce que tu dis. I don't understand what you're saying. And remember that direct objects enter the questions who or what. And in this case, it's answering the question what. Ce qui. Just a reminder, we use it as the subject of the dependent clause. Le vent, c'est ce qui me dérange le plus. Le vent, c'est ce qui me dérange le plus. The wind is what bothers me the most. Here's another example using ce dont. A reminder, we use it as the object of the preposition de. Je ne sais pas ce dont tu as peur. All right, so why don't? Look at this next sentence. Tu as peur de quelque chose. Right? This is an expression that requires de. So, if you have fear of something, I don't know what you're afraid of. Or, in other words, I don't know that of which you have fear. Je ne sais pas ce dont tu as peur. Here's another one with ce qui. Ce qui me dérange, c'est quand il y a beaucoup de bruit. Ce qui me dérange, c'est quand il y a beaucoup de bruit. So you can put ce qui, ce que, or ce dont up at the beginning of the sentence if you want to. It's just, you know, a way to turn the sentence around a little bit. So this would mean what bothers me is when there's a lot of noise. Here's another example of putting it at the beginning of the sentence, this time using ce que. Ce que nous devons faire, c'est prendre le train demain. Ce que nous devons faire, c'est prendre le train demain. What we must do is take the train tomorrow. Ce dont. This is the last one we're going to look at and then we're going to practice. I'm going to give you a little quiz. Ce dont. Use it as an object of the preposition de. de. Ce dont tu as peur, c'est le noir. Ce dont tu as peur, c'est le noir. What you are afraid of is the dark. Or remember, the dark is that of which you have fear. That's the don't. All right, so if you are ready for a quiz, then we're going to do it right now. If you think you need to study all of this a bit more, a little bit more before your quiz, just don't forget to click on the link in the video description below, and you can go over to my website to see the list and examples again, and you can use the Quizlet study set that I've made for you. Allez, c'est parti! Now, which of these would fit in the blank? Look at it very carefully. Are we going to use ce que, ce qui, or ce dont? Do you need a subject for your dependent clause? No, right? You already have je there. Do, uh, do you need an object for your dependent clause? Is there any mention of the word de in the sentence? If you chose ce que, then bravo, très bien. What you needed is an object of the dependent clause. Écoute ce que je te dis. Écoute ce que je te dis. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Tu ne comprends pas. Tu ne comprends pas. Blank. Se passe. Again, ask yourself the questions. What exactly do you need to connect these two parts of the sentence? Did you notice that you needed a subject there? That's why you needed to use ce qui. Tu ne comprends pas ce qui se passe. Tu ne comprends pas ce qui se passe. 
Now, I'm saying all of these quite slowly, and it's true that um, this is not how French people would say this sentence. Well, unless it's a French teacher. It would probably come out sounding like, tu ne comprends pas ce qui se passe. Yeah, all of the words kind of run together. But there's nothing wrong with saying them very slowly, okay? Especially when you're first learning this stuff. I'll let you have a look at this one before we look at the answer. Look at this one very carefully. Je ne suis pas sûr. Relative pronoun. Tu as envie. Tu as envie. This is one where we had to use ce dont. Remember, we use ce dont as the object of de. So if you look at that expression, tu as envie, let's say you want to make a sentence with tu as envie. You would say, for example, tu as envie de manger. Do you feel like eating? Tu as envie de manger. You hear the de? So that's your clue. That's why you need don in the sentence. Okay, here's one where we're going to put it up at the beginning of the sentence. So you have your relative pronoun, je veux savoir, c'est combien de bonbons as-tu mangé? What I want to know is how many candies did you eat? Now how would you say what? Bravo, if you said ce que, because you need an object here. You don't need a subject. The subject is already present. That's the je. Ce que je veux savoir, c'est combien de bonbons as-tu mangé? How many candies did you eat? Allez. Have a look at this one. Je ne sais pas, relative pronoun, pense mon professeur de français. Je ne sais pas ce que pense mon professeur de français. Ce que, object of the dependent clause. All right, have a close look at this one. Decide on your answer. Are you ready? C'est exactement relative pronoun. Je me souviens. C'est exactement Ce dont je me souviens. Now that apostrophe is not supposed to be there. And I just saw it. So <laughs> that's my English spell check that did that to me. Shoot, I hate that. Can you please imagine with me that the apostrophe is not there? And it should just say dont, C-O-N-T. Uh, C'est exactement ce dont je me souviens. C'est exactement ce dont je me souviens. Okay, why do we need ce dont here? Well, if you know that verb, se souvenir, means to remember, it's always followed by de. Je me souviens de toi. Right? I remember you. Je me souviens de toi. So, de is my new best friend or my new worst enemy. I don't know how you want to see it, but that's why you use dont. Okay. Voici, relative pronoun, j'aimerais faire. So here's what I would like to do. And how do you say what? Voici ce que j'aimerais faire. Très bien. Je ne sais pas, relative pronoun, est dans le frigo. Je ne sais pas, blank, Et dans le frigo. I don't know what's in the fridge. Which one are you going to use? Are you ready? Allez. Je ne sais pas ce qui est dans le frigo. Je ne sais pas ce qui est dans le frigo. Subject of the dependent clause. Bravo! Super! Très bien! You did a good job on that. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, whether you're teaching yourself French or learning French at school and need a little extra help. I put out new videos every week. Also, check the links in the video description below to see all of the ways you can connect with and support Love Learning Languages. Allez, merci et à très bientôt!